Men, brothers, fathers, listen. Women, sisters, mothers, listen. After they ate from the tree, the God of esteem appeared to Adam and Eve. And then in Genesis 3, verse, verse 15, God said to the that we would be redeemed by the very seed of the woman that the serpent had deceived. And he will strike at his heel, but be crushed by the feet of the Redeemer, Deliverer, Restorer, Restorer of, of all, all things. things. But sin and death was in the world, so man kept following. False idols, falling in trials, walking in darkness, lost in the wild. Reaching for a wall like the blind, groping around like those with no eyes, stumbling at midday as in the twilight. Then God called the man named Abram, Abraham, because he wanted to make a great nation out of God him. God said, I will bless those who bless you, you curse those who, who curse, curse you, and all the people on the earth will be blessed through you. There was Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, then 400 years of slavery, and then came Moses, who told the Pharaoh, let my people go so they can worship. But after 10 plagues and the Red Sea being opened, their faith was still shaken, for some, some completely, completely broken. broken. They grew to be impatient, made idols that were golden, but God still kept his promise that that he told Abraham gave them ten commands to set apart every tribe every clan but 40 years passed before the great I am chose Joshua to cross into the promised land from conquering Jericho that was such a miracle but let the record show that we were still sinful so God raised up judges to try to keep us in control but every time one died we would return to the lowest low but God would make one rise to lead us back to the host of hosts that's the way the story goes until God spoke to Samuel saying listen to them all they want an earthly king so anoint Saul he was handsome and tall but afraid when he heard the cause from Goliath the giant who was taunting them all but there was one who was the bravest his name was David a shepherd a boy who wasn't afraid to face him he ran up to him and slayed him becoming a great warrior his victories were famous the women danced and sang this Saul has slain his thousands and David his tens of thousands while people look at what's outward that's not what God sought David was a man after his own heart anointed with oil a chosen king not only that but God said I will raise up your offspring to succeed you your own flesh and blood I will be his father and he will be my son he is the one who will build a house for my name and his throne will be established forever and he would lack nothing because the Lord would be his shepherd his throne would be established forever his kingdom be established forever in his latter years, David had a talk with his son. Now Solomon would be the king and be the one to build a house in the name of the Lord. Solomon asked for wisdom. The Lord said yes and gave him more than any, any man, man now or, or any, any man, man before. before. He was adored and known by many in this world. It seemed like anything he did could ever fail, but was the last king of a unified Israel. After he passed and his son became the ruler, Israel went north and to the south Judah. But there was a prophet named Isaiah who prophesied the coming of the Messiah. And there was a prophet named Jeremiah who prophesied the coming of the Messiah. Then there was a prophet named Zechariah who prophesied Listen carefully, the woman will conceive and give birth to a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel. There will be the voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way, make straight in the desert a highway. He will honor by way of the sea, on the other side of the Jordan, the Messiah in Galilee. At that time, the ears of the deaf will hear, and the eyes of the blind will see. The mute tongue will shout for joy, and the lame will leap waters will gush forth and in the desert streams he will speak in parables and teach of hidden things mysteries of old will be explained in his utterings rejoice rejoice, rejoice and, and shout aloud your victorious king is humble he rides a donkey into town and he will be betrayed by one he called a close friend one he trusted who shared his same bread yes the shepherd will be struck the sheep scattered his closest friends will leave him all alone. Valued at 30 pieces of silver, he'd be sold. False witnesses charge him of things he didn't know. And he would not hide his face from the mocking and spitting. He would offer his back 
to be beat. They'd pierce his hands and feet and crucify him among the thieves. But God would not abandon him to the realm of the dead. His body would not see decay. He would ascend. So many kings came and went. Some, some righteous, righteous, some wicked, wicked but, but in it, the end. This is how the story went. Israel was captured and taken to Assyria. Judah was taken captive and brought to Babylon. Living in exile far from our homeland. Wondering when we'll be home again. One prophet said two years, but that was incorrect. Jeremiah said 70, and that's the way it went. Now we're free, but here in the silence, waiting on the Messiah to return us to Zion.